are your local election headquarters. Governor Jeff Landry announces the launch of the largest broadband expansion program in the history of Louisiana. This will bring advances in technology to rural communities that will change schools, businesses, and hospitals, and so much more. And joining us now is a person who was an integral part in securing this money for our state. And that's, of course, Senator Bill Cassidy. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Cassidy, for being with us this morning. Thanks Twitter. for having me. Talk to us about Gumbo 2.0. First of all, love the name. This is great news for Louisiana. What's going on? It really is great news for Gumbo. Yes. Uh, $1.35 billion coming to the state as part of the, uh, the bipartisan infrastructure bill. And it's going to make sure that everyone in Louisiana has access to high-speed, affordable Internet. And that makes all the difference in the world. I met a guy out of Livingston Parish, Baptist, Louisiana, and he is got 2.7 million followers on Facebook. Wow. It's southernboysboyzoutdoors.com. Okay. And you'll do a three minute video on how you cook crawfish. <laughs> and, and it goes like that. It goes viral. It goes viral. Yeah. And he sells more jambalaya mix online than any other company, uh, including a company like Zatarans. So he, out of Baptist, Louisiana, has a nationwide presence because of the internet. Yes. And there's somebody out there with a great idea, and she or he is going to go online, and they're going to do just the same thing. This internet opens up possibilities for our entire state. Yes, absolutely. Speaking of possibilities, we want to talk about the money that you've <laughs> secured right here for Shreveport. This is going to impact our airports, $4.3 million. This is huge. What are we going to be able to do with this? Yeah, so it's going to upgrade the airport. And when somebody comes to make an investment in your city, they land, the first impression is the airport. Yes. Is the runway bumpy, um, uh, uh, as an example. So you want that first good impression. And so one is safety. It's also about how do you create a good first impression. We want people coming to, to, to Northwest Louisiana to invest dollars to build jobs to make our communities better. Absolutely. We're going to talk about internet once again. The importance of our, the safety of our children online is huge. We know that kids have cell phones now in their hands, which is a little terrifying if you're a parent out there. You're working on legislation to keep our children safe. Talk a little bit about that. We've passed it out of the Senate. And in this legislation, the tech companies are forbidden to collect data on those 17 and below. But if they do, the parents have an eraser button that they can hit and it all goes away. Now you call the big tech company, no one takes your call. Here you have an eraser button. Mm -hmm. And so, we have, so we've passed it out of the Senate. Uh, I, I think there's a really good Speaker of the House of Representatives that I know of, Mike Johnson. If they get it through the House of Representatives, it'll be signed into law. Parents will have that control over their child's online experience, and big tech will be told not to collect data. Good things and good things. Yes, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, Gumbo 2.0 again. You just touched on something really important earlier. Uh, this is providing new opportunities, but it's also going to change the way that we do business in the state of Louisiana. Talk a little bit about all of the doors that this will open and how the launch is going to go. So think about our rural parishes. Wonderful. You drive through them. They have these wonderful old, old towns, mm -hmm. uh, but people have, have like not moved there for, uh, for reasons. For example, they don't have Internet. Correct. So if you're commuting to Shreveport or Bossier or to New Orleans or Atlanta, you can't live in a town unless you've got high-speed internet. By the way, if you live there, it may be that your daughter needs telemental health mm -hmm. or that your son's studying online for you know, some language course he can't get locally. Internet opens that possibility. It opens the possibility that someone wants to move back to their family property or buy a property, live in small town Louisiana because they'd rather live in a small town and now they can because they can access the, the, the whole wide world through the worldwide internet. Yes. Uh, well, we appreciate you being here. I understand you have a breakfast coming up over in Bossier. Tell us a little bit about what's going to be going on over there. So I'll be speaking to the Bossier Chamber of Commerce and the Shreveport Chamber of Commerce. I, I try and sweep through the state on a regular basis mm -hmm. and I listen to people. What's going on? What can we do to make our communities better? Um, and then to tell them what we're working on. Been able to talk about the, the infrastructure bill, mm -hmm. bringing money for the airport, money for, uh, money for internet, by the way, money for things like a rail uh, that'll connect Atlanta and Dallas with Shreveport, Bossier, Ruston, and Monroe in between. All those good things coming out of the infrastructure bill, I get to acquaint people with that. Hopefully, there's some mayor out there applying for money that she or he otherwise wouldn't be doing, but because of our conversation, they are. Senator, thank you so much for your time. I thank really you, appreciate Fernanda. it. It is always a pleasure having you and lots of exciting things happening for the state of Louisiana. Keep it here. We'll be right back.